Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and this is episode 5 of my Let's Play Evercron Mercenary series. In my last episode, we uh, mined some asteroids, and uh, I showed you how to blow asteroids up. And uh, in continuing from the last episode, um, I'm just going to finish up this last asteroid here, and we'll be done with this mission. Now, um, I had uh, stepped away from playing this series for a while, and... Um, the save game for my uh, um, tutorial character actually got overwritten. Well, not all of it. Um, it just pushed me back to uh, the beginning of episode 3, so I had to go back and mine those asteroids. So um, things might not look like you remember they were from the last episode. Like I, I might not have the same quantity of uh, minerals as I did in the other episodes. So just, you know. Bear with me, it shouldn't make a huge effect on gameplay. I'm back where I was before. Alright. <clears throat> so we've just successfully completed that contract. And the guild has trusted us with uh, one of their storage caches. Let's see here. For several free hidden items, we keep these three cargo containers hidden in the glacier system. They are continually replenished. All right. Glacia system. Hmm. Oh, okay. So by Glacia. Um, basically, uh, the guild will um, periodically give you uh, locations to hidden caches. Let's see. I believe it's right here. So that should be sector three, two. All right. Oh, that's not right. Two, three. I got that reversed. Yeah. There we go. Right there. And that is negative. Ah, Numlock was off. Hold on a minute. One thing I don't like is the fact that uh, this text scrolls so fast. It's hard to... It's hard to get all the information down. All right, so... Is that 70,000? Y coordinate is negative 2... 20,000. And the Z coordinate is 80,000. All right, we'll go ahead and add that to our log here. And I like to put the uh, system. Go cache one. So now we have the location. I'll go ahead and get rid of this testing one. So now we have the location of the uh, guild cache. Now, uh, before we head over there, though, we should probably empty our cargo bay. So, um, like right now, you'll see um, this is the sell price for these items. But I guess I should. This would be a good time to teach you something about uh, the economics in the game. So right now, I've got the uh, nav map open with uh, the planets labeled. Now you notice each planet has a letter after it in parentheses. That shows the type of economy that a planet has. So G is for general, E is for energy, A is for agriculture, T is for technology, and there's another one, it's M, M for manufacturing. Now each economy is dictated by the planet it's on, so uh, New Hope is clearly uh, just a general planet. Um, Sapphire is a heavy agriculture planet, so all the stations around it will be agriculture-based. Now, when it comes to, like, buying and selling, you'll want to... you got to think about it logically. Like, for example, if you wanted to buy energy cells, the best place to get it would be a planet with an energy economy because they'll have a surplus of energy and they'll sell them for a low price. 
and you want to sell that to a place that would buy it for a, um, a higher price, a buy low, sell high type of thing. All of you are probably used to with most uh, games like this. So right now we have raw materials. Now from what I remember, manufacturing has the best price for raw materials, but uh, the next is technology. Technology has really good, um, I believe, diamond, maybe platinum, but manufacturing, I think, sells, um, buys uh, material, uh, metal, for a pretty high price. So we're gonna actually plot a course over there and see how much we can sell that stuff for. Now it's too far for our fulcrum drive, so we're gonna have to initiate the autopilot. <clears throat> and let me just turn off distress signals. There we go. Okay, so yeah, if we were in, um, if we had some medical supplies, we could deliver it to that planet for a quarter million credits, but we're in nowhere near that planet, so, plus we're doing a tutorial here. But um, <clears throat> the guild caches are a good way to make money, because they're free, obviously. And you can just go over there, and you can take the equipment you want, and then sell it. And we just arrived at our destination. Now I'm going to show you a little secret, a little trick I learned. If you uh, right-click on a station instead of left-clicking on it, um, it will uh, place the nav marker and position your ship in such a way that you're right at the docking bay. Now most of the time it works. Um, yeah, let me slow the ship down. Backspace, there we go. Most of the time it works without a hitch, but sometimes it uh, doesn't work. Like you'll come in at a weird angle, so uh, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just come to a complete stop, engage my fulcrum drive, and oh boy, IDS. Yeah, see, some, some stations, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so, uh, you gotta be careful about that. But, I've noticed it works for about half the stations, so... You'll wanna experiment on your own. Make sure you have a save file ready. But, we are near this technology planet and we're just gonna go ahead and dock with it now the price listed in our inventory I think is like ah see look the sell price went up significantly Docking tractor beam engaged. so what was the last what was the price for diamonds before it was like almost 20,000 yeah this is like 42 it's a huge difference in price and platinum, I believe, was like 15, so isn't much of a difference with platinum, but diamond is um, bought at technology places. And uh, if you can go, there's actually a, a game guide that has uh, all this information in it. So we're going to go ahead and just sell this, clear inventory. But it's a nice little way to make money um, if you want to do that. Let's see, what's available here? Silver units... And they actually have some pretty decent stuff here. Okay. I don't think we're ready to upgrade anything just yet. Let's... Hmm. Though I do kind of want to upgrade the Falcon Drive. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and upgrade the Falcon Drive. Now this one um, can jump three sectors as opposed to the one, so we'll save fuel by um, using this one. All right, and let's see, we're already reloaded. Yeah, we're, we're good. All right. Oh, oh, and one, one more little, little bit of information here. Um, you can actually sell fuel. Like if you go in, all right. 
I want to let me enter a manual amount. Okay, well, maybe it's because I have a full tank, but basically what we can do is you can enter in, if you enter in a negative number right here, you can actually sell your fuel to the station. And uh, if you have the right equipment, you can actually, like, harvest fuel from nebulas and stuff. And so that's another good way to make money. Docking tractor beam what? disengaged. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And I'll show you what this upgraded fulcrum drive can do. So let's go and check out that that guild cache. We just got the coordinates too. So with our new drive, we should be able to jump. I think right there. I think that's about three. Yeah, that's about three sec. Yep. Actually, if you look, um, if you look right here, this will show you like how far away the um, destination is um, and it looks like it's seven sectors away so we should make it there in two jumps so let's go ahead and engage the autopilot and with our old uh, fulcrum drive it would take us seven jumps and technology planets Technology economies typically have lower prices on technology, clearly. And it's also based on the economy of um, your uh, quadrant, too. I guess you can tell Sapphire. Oops. Um, Sapphire's got pretty low economy, and the green ones have a uh, higher economy. That's just really, um, it's really inflation, really. Um, planets in red are going to sell equipment. Oh, here we go. Let me turn this guy off here. Oh, easy girl. Turn on the IDS here. Slow myself down. All right. And here are those two caches. I think there's three containers. Yeah, there should be three containers here. What's my map showing me? Maneuver over here and pull them in with our tractor beam. But you can kind of make up the outline of one right there. Alright. Oh, yeah, there's a third one right there. You, can't, you can barely see it, but it's right there, I promise. Alright, so let's cut the, cut the speed here. And to loot one, you just... Um, you just use your uh, tractor beam to pull it in. And let's see, we just pulled in some Viper missiles. Um, oh, by the way, um, as far as the statistics go, um, Y is the yield, that's how much damage it does. Um, S, I don't know what S means. Uh, but R is the range. Maybe that's how much damage it does to shields. But uh, also the class, obviously, um, higher class is going to do more damage. So, but yeah, these are uh, these are Viper missiles. They'll sell, eh, they sell for a decent amount. I mean, I guess we can make some money off that. Um, this one over here. Lost my equipment here. Hold on. I'm getting a collision warning. Okay, I just lost track of all my stuff. Oh, there, there they are. Okay. Let's see what this one's got. Oh, particle weapon. Excellent. Now if we just... Go here... We just got a a uh, razor cannon. Razor cannon yield 140. Um, C is the charge, is how much uh, energy it drains, and R is the range. So right now we've got a uh, yeah this little guy. Wow, that doesn't do any damage at all. It has a yield of 10. 
So clearly the Razor is a far superior cannon. Uh, we can't equip that right now, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna wait, but... If you look at the sell price on that thing... Um, I forgot how often these... Um, these guild caches are replenished, but... Uh, if you keep coming back and checking them periodically, you can actually make a decent amount of money. But unfortunately, it only has, like, one in there. And then we've got this one over here in the distance. Cut the IDS. And this has... Fusion generators. And I don't really go for much, but I think we can find a buyer for them. And we'll just sit here and get all these. Oops, there we go. I forgot how many are in here. But uh, if you're looting missiles and you have missile hardpoints available, they'll go ahead and uh, fill those in for you. It'll automatically equip them. It's a decent amount of them. Alright, well I'm going to cut the video right here and um, so uh, you know, we're not sitting here looking at this number go up. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, it looks like there was still some material in there, because um, I mean, this caps out at 25, so our cargo hold isn't uh, big enough to hold all that. Let's see, what's the closest station? There's one right here. All right. Now make sure your nose is pointing away from any objects before you engage your FTL. Just you know, good policy. You don't want to crash into something like it did before with that uh, um, solar array. Ah, all right. There we go. All right. Well, there's some trick to this that I'm not. I'm not getting. But uh, you guys can experiment with this uh, as best you can. I think your ship has to be like at a certain X, Y, and Z position for this to work. Could be wrong on that. So this will require some further experimentation. But if not, you can do the trusty um, method I was using where you just kind of um, point yourself away. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell these uh, missiles here. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, enter the station and see if we can squeeze out a few more uh, secondary weapon hard points. Hmm. Yeah, we'd have to sacrifice some countermeasures. Yeah, not really a whole lot I can do here. All right. We'll just have to keep it like that. And we just equip these. Actually, we can go ahead and sell this guy. And then equip the new particle weapon. All right. And this stuff, fusion generators. Obviously, you don't want to sell it near in a... In a a uh, energy economy that's you're not going to get a good price for those docking track to be disengaged okay. oops docking track to keep doing that Yes, this is an energy economy. All right. 
Let's go ahead and head back to that cache. And see what else we can take out of there. Can I believe it was the middle one? No, it was the last one that had that. Yep, this is the one that had the fusion generators. Alright, well, let's uh, gonna pause the video here and we'll see how much uh, this thing carries. Alright, and I'm back. And it looks like. It looks like this thing had, uh, had a lot more fusion generators than I thought. So uh, now, if, if I was smart, when I was at that station, I would have um, upgraded my cargo bay temporarily to come over here, but yeah, so, but that's something you guys can do, decent way to make money, oh, alright, let's see if this guy has anything in it, oh, oh no, that was the missiles, let's see, where's the other one? Curious to see if the uh, if the other uh, um, if the other uh, container has uh, any more of those uh, weapons. I don't think it does, but. this thing. Ah, oh, there it is. Nope. Container recovery limit reached. Okay. There aren't any. Alright, so let's see if we can find a place to sell this, um, these power cells at. So obviously we're not going to be able to sell them for a lot of money in an energy economy. So let's see, we got a general economy, an agriculture economy. Which one's closest? Sapphire's closer. So we'll jump to Sapphire. And take a look at the prices. Okay, what was it like? Okay, that's that's a bit better, 16 something. I think, I forgot how much they were selling in that economy. I think they were selling for like three grand or something. Something ridiculous. I mean, look at that. That's that's a huge profit margin there. All right, so this is an agriculture economy. Let's see what a general economy looks like. Oops. See, fulcrum drive. Well worth the investment. Make one jump over here. Because the other one was selling for 16. This one's selling for 13. So the general economy, you're not... It's kind of bland. And let's see how much technology economy sells stuff for. There we go, that's better. That was about four jumps away. One of the four jumps, four sectors away. Okay. Twelve, really? Hmm. And a lot of this is trial and error, just to kind of see where things sell. Um, there are probably some guides on uh, the forums for people who are really interested in all the, the trader stuff. But, you know, that's half the fun for some people. They want to see... Yeah, that's about 13 here. So it looks like the best price was actually um, at Sapphire. Let's 
But yeah, it's just all about, you know, half the fun in this game for a lot of people is just figuring out, like, good trade lanes and stuff. Yeah, looks like we got 15. Uh, also, if you look at the news, um, it'll tell you what's going on. And I believe the local market conditions uh, change based on which uh, which planet you're near. As it looks like, what are we trying to sell? Fusion generators? Are they even on here? Oh, there they are. Yeah, each fusion generator is selling for six fifteen. So, but this looks like the best price we can get. So let's see. Do we want to land on the planet or do we want to? You know, let's land on the planet. I don't think we've landed on this planet yet. We got some time. Before we do the next guild mission. Alright. Where are my docking lights? Caution. Entry ah, there we go. Now, uh, this is something uh, someone had pointed out in one of my videos. Uh, you notice that our... Uh, right now, our IDS maxes out at like 625. Well, if you notice, right here it says IDS times 1. You can actually increase the multiplier by using the, uh, uh, the 9 key on the keypad and then the 7 key to decrease it. So if you bump it up to uh, times 2, as you can see, it doubles the uh, speed. And it goes all the way up to uh, times 5. But for our purposes, we're going to keep it at 1. Now, let's give her a little juice here. This is something I read on the forums. You can actually slow your ship down by going into uh, inertial mode and positioning your ship like this oh, maybe not <laughs> okay the idea behind it is you um, you adjust your ship kind of like how the shuttles re-enter the atmosphere you adjust your ship um, to where your uh, your vertical velocity is the highest, and it's supposed to slow your ship down. Or in this case, if you're in the atmosphere, it increases it. So, I don't know. just just switch your uh, your ship to uh, IDS when uh, the computer tells you your avionics have switched to planetary mode, and you should be fine. Increasing our speed here. What are the local market conditions here? Yeah, 15. I guess it doesn't matter where we land, honestly. It's going to be about the same. But I wanted to land on a planet because I like landing on planets. It's fun. Alright. Decreasing speed a little bit. Go ahead and sell all this stuff. There you go. That's a uh, cut the engines here. It's a pretty uh, pretty simple way to make money: buy low, sell high. Just know your markets. And uh, I think I'm going to wrap the episode up here. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this series, or if you enjoyed this video, and uh, want to see more, please click the like button. And uh, please leave a comment below if I missed something or uh, you found something was helpful or you have any questions. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And as